Hello, welcome to the Thunderdome. Oh, I'm not just kidding. Welcome to JR's Corner. I am currently sitting in my girl Pearl, which, if you're new to the channel, that is my 2007 Acura TL Type S. Um, I teased it in my last video a little bit. Wanted to go into a little bit more detail on what's going on with this car so as you can see i'm sitting in my car she starts right up everything works yay except for the lights because there's a bunch of stuff up front disconnected and it needs an oil change anyways mrs uh, pearl here is Needing some love. Let me give you a breakdown of what's going on. So, I've had this car part sitting on jack stand since last spring. And partly because of the heat and partly because of problems getting tools and parts. And I'm sure that has something to do with the whole port issue going on in California. I don't know. But I can tell you that this is dinging at me. And it's being annoying. I can tell you that... Um, uh, I know about the tire pressure. There's missing two tires. Anyways, um, having issues getting parts and tools and, you know, it's cooling off now. So I, I wanted to get really cranking on her, but I had to order a kit to get the ball joints off on the front. Uh, I had tried using the, the Acura Honda adapter kit that you get from... Go Riley's or wherever and I was actually starting to break the tool so I stopped using that because I think that tool was made for like a Honda Civic or something like that not for my TL with the sharp angles going down into the ball joint so I did some looking around I stopped at a couple of shops I stopped at some machine shops I even stopped at the Acura dealer and I just was like okay you know can you guys help me with this Went in with the, the knuckle, the whole assembly, and was like, I just need to press this ball joint out. Can you help? And the closest I got to getting help was the Acura dealer. But even they ended up turning me away, saying they couldn't help. And just go get one out of a junkyard, which doesn't really solve anything. Because then I would still need to replace ball joints out of a junkyard piece. So long story short, here we are. So I ended up ordering a tool kit that's supposed to be for all Hondas and all Acuras. Um, it was like 250 bucks online. And waited and waited and waited and waited. And finally I called them up and I said, hey, I just wanted to check on my order. What's going on with it? I paid for expedited shipping and whatever. And they told me that it's back ordered. And that it's normally something they carry in stock, but that it's back ordered. And that he was gonna call the manufacturer and find out like what the deal was. So he called them, he put me on hold and he called them up and he came back to me and told me that January was like the standardized answer they were giving everybody for when they would see supply. So that tells me it's probably stuck out on a ship out in the harbor near California somewhere, not able to port and empty their supply. Just guessing them. So Pearl is gonna be on jack stands for a bit. So today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna steal the brakes off of Pearl, the brand new brakes that I have partially installed pending the ball joints. Um, I'm not gonna take the calipers, I'm just gonna take the pads and rotors and then um, on, as far as Pearl is concerned, between now and when I get the ball joint tool, I'm actually going to start working on the interior. So, let me just show you here real fast. The interior is looking pretty sad. You know, it, it's definitely gotten worse since I've had it just sitting out in the sun and just age and heck, even just sit, sitting in the garage, I feel like it's tearing. So what we're gonna do is, I actually have 
an interior kit right there. And um, I believe I, I believe I may have showed that in previous um, videos, but that is an all black interior kit. Now the leather of the seats is all tore up just like these, if not worse. And there's some cleaning that needs to be done to the plastics and stuff. But all in all, it should work and um, it should work good. So I have uh, purchased a while ago, actually, uh, when I was expecting this to go a little quicker, uh, an interior kit for this, which is all new leather. I went and I bought new uh, heating elements for the seats. I bought new light bulbs for the, um, for the dash and really just want to make sure that everything is up and going and operational and I'm gonna convert the door panels so that they're all black and maybe go get an upholsterer person to uh, get me some leather pieces that will match my seats because the seats do have some color in them so with that being said that's a future project for this car that should be coming up here fairly soon I'm done talking Let's get to the action. Alright, what's going on? Uh, ready to get going on this. Um, this style brake, if you notice, it's a little bit different than my... Um, Let's say, say my last video that I did because this is a a Brembo four uh, Piston caliper meaning it's got two pistons here and two pistons here and they all four push against the they pinch against the caliper rather than it Pushing from one side to the other and then sliding the caliper. It makes it for a very more efficient um, braking process and um, So they work really well now, in my particular case, because Pearl is kind of down for the count, I had bought new brakes for Pearl, but rather than going and waiting for shipping on on uh, another set of brake pads and rotors, I'm just going to steal the brake pads and rotors from Pearl that I had bought brand new, and then I'll buy another set for her that I can wait on because I'm not in a need to get them anytime soon. So, I'm going to get going on this. Um, let's get to it. gentlemen so the fronts are done as you can tell we're moved move through that here pretty quick in time lapse working on the back I stole the parts off of the back of pearl that I had put together I went and took those all off so I'm gonna be putting them on back here but I want to show you this real fast because pearl had the same problem let me just grab this from him so if you'll notice right there you've got brake shoe nothing and then brake shoe again so these e this e-brake 
And right up there, you can see the e-brake shoes all corroded and cracked and gross. It's all rusty in there. Right there, it's coming off of the the backing. So, you know, I mean, I'm gonna get this fixed. Um, I'm not going to do the e-brakes because I did the e-brake shoes on Pearl and it it was a bear, it sucked. So I'll let the people who do it professionally get paid to do the sucky stuff. Um, but you know, we'll get this put together. I gotta replace a wheel bearing in the front too, so I was gonna run it down to the dealer for those two things and get those done. And then brakes will be good. And getting closer, I guess. Getting closer. So that's what we're doing. Uh, let's keep it moving, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little bit frustrated because I had this car at the dealer a few weeks ago, back in October, to get some work done while I was out of town. Well, my keys got lost, so I had to take it to the dealer to get the keys reprogrammed. And I said, okay, well, while it's here, we'll get a couple of things done while we're going out of town. One of the things they told me it needed was rear brakes. I knew it needed the e-brake uh, shoes, but I told them to check, you know, that, and they were really adamant on how bad I needed rear brake pads. So I was like, all right, well, before I do that, before I do the shoes and have them do the shoes, I'll swap out the pads. <clears throat> and so I can take it to them to do the shoes, the e-brake e shoes. So this is the brake pads. The other side was about the same. So this line, when that line gets to non-existent, that's about where you should be starting to worry about replacing them. As you can see, these these rear brake pads are practically brand new. This one's worn down a little bit more. And the other side was pretty similar. But basically what I'm getting at is this car did not need rear brake pads. Rear brake shoes, yes. Rear brake pads, absolutely not. So... I'm a little irritated, but at the same time, I'm okay because, I mean, it, I was going to do this anyways. I just kind of, I don't know. Anyways, back to work. TLL buttoned up, brakes are good. Um, obviously, a few things that we found out that we got to take care of. But one little last uh, treasure for you. She's a little dirty. Don't don't hate at me. But I got a few little goodies for my my four wheeler here that I'm gonna throw on here. Um, first of all, I got some brighter lights, and I'm going riding this weekend, so we're going to go ahead and
That's always how you want to start that out. Shaken, not stirred. Best thing to do for light bulbs, throw them on the ground. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna put these light bulbs in, and then I've also got the piece, this piece, because mine is broken somehow. I have no idea. It was like that when I bought it, and it looks ghetto, and I don't know why it would be that way. So we're gonna fix that. Um, so let's get to it. Should be pretty short. <laughs> So the GoPro died, got too hot, so we're gonna just shoot the rest on my phone. Um, got the one side together, we're gonna do the other side quick. And it should be the same as the other one. Just pop this seal off. It seals it from weather and water and, you know, whatever you're running through. Twist that out. Should make this just it would just fall right out if I can get my freaking fingers on it. Alright. And they work. There we go. Cool. Go high beam, low beam. Cool. Alright, shut it off. Alright, so we've got the lights done. Uh, now I'm going to replace this cover because the one that's on here is janky. Not, I'm not a big fan of this one. It flops all over, whatever. So I've got new cover that we're gonna install. And it's really pretty simple. There's one Phillips screwdriver down this hole. Did I say screwdriver? one Phillips screw down in the hole, and then you just have to disconnect everything and swap it over to this one, and you're done. It's pretty simple, so let's do it. Okay, so it's just a matter of fixing my cover and should be ready to go for having some fun this weekend. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna take a storm out for a drive here and kind of break in the brakes and glue the cover and call it a day, I think. So, thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening, dad joke of the day. I think we're gonna start doing dad jokes for the day. Like, more than just, I'm hungry. Oh, hi, hungry, I'm dad. More than just that. Because that's, that's like, OG dad jokes. Do I hear anything joke about construction? You wanna talk about construction? That's okay, I'm still working on it. You're still working on it? That's, that's a good one. Um. So, I got a, a, a plethora. Plethora? Yes, a plethora. Yes. <laughs> you have a plethora. Jefe, what is a plethora? Why, guapo? Well, you told me I have a plethora. And I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. 
I would not like to think that a person would tell someone he has a plethora and find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. Of dad jokes that I can pull out of my repertoire. Look at me with all them fancy words. Anyways, uh, I think we're going to do that. So I, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let Canyon's dad joke roll for today. And then going forward, I think we're going to throw some dad jokes in here. Because what's, what's the point if you're not having a little fun with it, right? So Canyon's dad joke was... Did you want to talk about construction? And when you say, what? What are you talking about? Or no, or whatever. However you respond, the punchline is, that's okay, I'm still working on it. Which is pretty funny. Thanks, Canyon. I appreciate that one. Time for some live action. Where do you want to go? Want to do something crazy or fast? Yeah. Widowmaker. The Widowmaker? Huh? I didn't sign a permission slip. I'll just blur your face, whatever. It's not, it's not like, I get like five views anyway, it's not like it's that. <laughs> and two of them are me and my brother. Right? <laughs> I think Garrett freaking likes that. Garrett, like, like, better than four or five minutes of posting it. later unfortunately watching this back this is the part where my bat my my GoPro died uh, this car that you just barely caught a glimpse of was completely burned out um, it definitely got hot because there was a lot of aluminum and uh, like the radiator for example was completely melted um, whoever left that car there Supposedly they drove it up there in one piece, it looked practically brand new, and then for whatever reason torched it. So, who knows why, but it was kind of cool to see. But what really is kind of the thing that bummed me out the most about this is my GoPro died. I had no idea my GoPro was dead. Not only did I do a really sick willy, like not too far later, not, not too later after this, but... I also happen to wipe out pretty hard. And I rolled my four-wheeler. And it sucked. And I got some marks. I don't know if you can see it. Some road rash, some sand rash, whatever. Gravel. All over. I broke my brand new piece we just put in. I broke my headlight mount, I guess. So yeah, it was quite the experience. But these next couple of clips are me just like, my GoPro had died. I'm just testing to see what works. Um, and the GoPro turned on for a quick second and recorded for a quick second. So that's what you see for the next couple of clips. However, it was dead. It didn't really do anything. Um, but that was literally like right after it happened while well, I was still amped up with our adrenaline and the whole thing for a quick minute and then continued riding. So there you go. That's that's where we leave off. Yeah, turn that door off. Yeah, turn that off. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. A little bit. Show the camera. Is it working now? Yeah.
Oh, hey. hey. I'm alive. I don't know if you so caught it in my video because my battery died. But while we were riding there, um, kind of had a thing happen. I still got gravel in my hair. What had happened was, I uh, saw a puddle. I got really excited because I saw a puddle and decided to send it as full throttle into the puddle. And um, ended up the water slowing me down while the back of the bike's trying to accelerate. Long story short, I endoed on acceleration rather than like braking and ended up rolling my four-wheeler. It was exciting. I mean, I got some scrapes on my elbows. I ruined my best pair of pants. Whatever, like, it's just pants. You're a man now. I'm a man now. Okay, whatever. That's um, your man card. So, anyways, four-wheeler's good. Rolled it over, started right back up. Other than a few things being wet and my lens being scratched, everything's good. So, we're just gonna... And then I went right back into the water only to realize I'm a moron because I needed to dry off so I could get some of this sand off of me because I'm just covered in sand now. And it was sticking because I was wet. Anyways, I hope I got video. I don't know if my camera died before you saw me biff, but that would be pretty cool if it did catch it because maybe somebody would like me now. But anyways, just uh, gonna grab a bite to eat and then uh, back to having some fun. Hopefully more, lots of more live action between everybody and everything. I'm gonna, <sighs> coming to you live from JR's corner. Oh yeah, there is a casualty on my four wheeler. So if you may have noticed in my video here earlier, I replaced my cover. And let me just show you, because what happened was the bike went front first over itself. And let's just say that the cover's broken again. And I broke my helmet a little bit, but that's why you wear a helmet is so you can break it. Anyways, gonna grab a bite to eat and get back to riding. Stay safe. We'll see you in a bit. pretty hairy. Right. I feel kind of bad. I feel like I kind of goaded him into it.
pretty gnarly up there at the top. There's some pretty big rocks. We'll see if he goes all the way up, but coming back down, backing out of that, it would be sucky too, so we'll see. Some live action. He's gonna back out, right there. This means I need to get out of the way. Oh, no, he's going forward. That's all you can do at this point, I guess. Nope, he's stuck. He's stuck. Oh, there he goes. He needs to turn his wheel to the left. Turn your wheel to the left, homie. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. He keeps on trying to turn to the right. There he goes. Kind of. Don't stop now, homie. <laughs> This wasn't the trail you were thinking of, was it? No, it was back. The other way. All right. Let's go back the other way then. This trail's all kinds of just all over the place, whatever.
what's going on? It's been a long day. As you can see, and probably hear, very dusty. Lots of people riding around everywhere. So we're packing it in. Gonna get out of here. A lot more people here now than there was even a few hours ago. And so we're gonna pack it in, get on out of here, and uh, head home. I'm tired. It's been a been a day. A little bit of a little worse for wear, but nothing we can't fix. Get everything packed up. And uh, like just just to show you here, I'm gonna show you here real fast. The amount of dirt in the air has created like that's how much dirt in the air there is right now. I'm breathing this crap. So I'm gonna head on out of here in a minute and uh, get out of this crappy air. So okay bye. Some brakes, some work on the four-wheeler, some fun on the four-wheeler. Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you next time.